So first, we're going to jump into building an app. We're going to call this just lead gen. We're going to add the SQL Lite plugin. Uh, there's tons of plugins to pick from. And we're going to build just a very simple app where we can generate outbound messages for leads. So let's say initialize the database. Make, make a app where I can add leads. Then add a way for me to generate um, outbound messaging for these leads um, when I add the uh, lead we should submit output and save it to the database um, when I hit generate message we should submit output and then return a generated message so basically, we can be very specific of what we want, uh, and this helps. Uh, usually, it's going to be developers who are trained on how to actually use this editor. Basically, every single component that we build, a web component here, has the ability to submit output from it to the LLM to do processing. And so this can be where the uh, component is actually sending things to a database, pulling things from a database. Um, the LLM is doing all of this processing for us rather than you know full JavaScript kind of doing this. And this is an interesting approach because it allows us to move really fast in what we're building. And then once we want to finalize it, we can export it to a JavaScript-based app. Um, so right here we have a starting kind of UI. Um, I think we should say, let's just actually just test making a lead first. So let's just add myself. I have to fill this out. Okay. Okay, great. So I hit submit. We see that it's loading. And here we actually got the action. And you can see here that the AI, there's a lot of messages coming in. The AI, um, you know, took my input here and then tried to put it into the database. It made a mistake, so it fixed it. Then it added it to the database, and then it checks to see if it actually reads that my um, everything got created. Looks like it did, and great. So we have something working here. Um, and so now I can say, so basically here we wanna now update when the page loads, we show the recently added leads somewhere like down here. And then right here will be our area that we can kind of generate the messages. And so we kind of can pull up from here instead of follow up message, we can actually select the lead and then hit generate message. Uh, obviously, we would probably want to build this and design this in a different way, but um, for example's sake, we're just going to do something really simple and, and straightforward uh, to just demonstrate what's possible. Great. So now we can see the actual real data here. And then now we can see me as a lead. So now let's generate a personalized message for me. And that's what's great about um, actually, oh look, so it did a um, generated message, but it looks like it made a mistake here. We don't actually see the message here. So we could say, um, I do not see the generated message. Please fix the component. So sometimes we have to course correct it. Um, this is something we're actually working on um, where the AI can reflect on the component that it, it's created to ensure that any kind of rendering that it's going to do actually works correctly. So in a future version, you'll never really have to um, kind of tell it that it, it made a mistake in these cases. Um, 
but that should come out in the next couple weeks. So let's get this working. Um, and yeah, what's cool is, is that we don't actually need a tool for doing any LLM, you know, call here because everything is being kind of run by the LLM right now. So it's kind of just built into the system. Great. Look at that. We have our uh, message here. So hopefully this is helpful to see you, you know, to show how to get started with actually like working, building something that's full stack, because here we actually have a database um, and we're pulling from it and we're updating it. And we're also doing some pretty cool features with the LLM. So thanks for watching this video. I'll keep making more until next time.